Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I'm going to be doing a video again today about slip downs. Um, I had a video, one of the first ones I ever made, and right at the end, I was getting to talk, I was getting ready to talk about flip downs, um, but then the video cut off for some reason. So that was about a year ago. I just haven't made any more, so I figured I'd. I'm, gonna, I'm making a few right now, like right in, right in one week, I can make a bunch right now. So uh, here's some flip downs. I'm going I'm to show you outward. And then also inward. Um, I'm going to spend more time on outward because it's harder to get down. And I'm going to teach the way I think is uh, best applied to any skill level. So here they are. Uh, let's look through all outward flip downs um, from the vertical position. So let me show you a couple angles of what it should look like and then I'll break it down. So outward. Again. From the side. And maybe, maybe it might help from the back. So with the outward flip, uh, if you're just picking up symbols for the first time or not, hang with me and I'll show you um, how I explain this. OK, so let's take our symbol and let's point it towards our face, then not start at my face. And I'm going to point towards the camera. I'm going to turn around and point, point, like that, turning and pointing. Now, when you can do that, which should be pretty easy, uh, start to make it faster. Make it much faster. And then when you think you have that down pretty well, also do the other hand, because it is a, do two hands. Now, when you think you have that down pretty well, instead of just turning and then pointing, try to cut that space in half. Try to go from point A to point B in the shortest, shortest space. By that I mean, I'm looking at you, instead of turning and then pointing, try to go over the point. Cut that distance in half. Not this anymore. Over. Does that make, I hope that makes sense. And then also the other hand. So not this. Now we're going to go over. So I'm just going to cut that distance in half. When you get that fast enough, it'll look like this. And you can hear it smacking against my arm, which, I mean, it won't really happen when you flip down, but it'll make, it'll, it'll, you'll know that you're going fast enough. Okay? So no longer are we doing that. We're now doing that. Okay. So now, that is the motion of an outward flip. I, I, I like to use that pointing technique. That is the outward flip. Now, the motion of your hand when you do an outward flip, from the vert position at least, is here to here. That's all it is. You go from here, and you go back to set. So take this motion that we just learned, the pointing motion, the quick popping motion, and make that make that movement last the whole length of vert to set. Make that motion be consistent the whole way, like that. So I'm, I'm going to do that pointing motion, but I end it right here. And that's all flip down is. Some people say, I used to teach push them with the elbow and then just fall outward. That's hard to understand if you're not used to symbols. And then some people say kick with the heel of the hand. I mean, I guess I mean that, that's a good way to think about it too. But it's not a good way to think about it if you don't understand symbols. Um, so we tried pointing. So now let's push it down. And there, there we got a flip down. Uh, one of the biggest things I see people do who are new at symbols and running an outward flip is they really go in the outward space. By that I mean like that. You need to think about keeping this outward flip in front of you and contained. Think about in front of you and contained. And the way you're going to do that is why some people explain it with using the inward elbow. Because when you push your elbow in, it keeps your hand and your symbol close to you. But don't compromise the body when you do it. So now, the outward flip can also be used down here at set, but if I'm teaching a line or I'm in a line, I'm always against an outward flip from vert. I'm sorry, from horizontal, because it usually doesn't look very good. I'm just going to apply the same motions, but because you're already so low with your left hand, it's just tough to get around. And the right hand's not too bad, but it just looks awkward. And that's why I'm going to teach the inward flip also, which I think is perfect for right here. So that's an inward flip. All right, all 
lot of inward flip is. Well, let me explain the uses. An inward flip is good for when you're down low, or quick, quick flips, good ripples, up and down, doing rolls. Oh, those are inward flips. So an inward flip is, so if you know how to flip up, you can already do an inward flip. I explain that by, when you push up, that's a flip. So now, instead of moving your hand up, try the exact same motion, but push your hand down. That's an inward flip. The only reason it's called inward is because you're putting your, you're pushing in and you're going down. So I know how to flip up, I'm going to inward flip down. Instead of moving my hand up, I do the exact same motion with my thumb by pushing in, but I just go down. Inward flips are all about the thumb. It's all about the thumb. Pushing in. Pushing in. That's how you're going to get that inward motion. Okay? And you can inward flip from you can inward flip from right here, which I do all the time. Or you can do it from up here. The only reason I don't like the inward flip from the from the vert position is there's so much extra space that's not really used because an inward flip happens at the very beginning unlike an outward flip where you can take up that whole space. So there's just a lot of extra room that I just don't really like. I mean, it, it, you can make it look good, but I'm, I'm just not a big fan of it. So to recap, let's do an outward flip a few times from vert and then an inward flip a few times from uh, horizontal. So. Now here's some inwards. Um, one thing I do want to mention is when you're doing a, a, a downward flip, I mean outward flip from the vert position, what I used to do a bunch was I would move down and then I'd start flipping. And that would look like this. You can see that, the, that I move down and the flip doesn't even start happening until about my crotch region. Which, if the whole line does it, again it looks fine. But you can tell when some people are flipping down straight from here. Or some people move and then they flip. And I think that's just kind of a laser way to do it, honestly. So think about moving down and flipping at the exact same time. If you have any comments or questions, uh, please post them. Message me. It doesn't matter. Um, I hope these videos help. Uh, I know outward flips are kind of tough to get, but hopefully uh, I can help you with it. So, thanks.